Hi guys, this is Mario from Dual Core Studio and this video was requested by one of our subscribers. Could you make tutorial how to set spell casting out of the player character? So here we have our player and let's create particle system. A particle system has endless possibilities. You just need uh, to play wi with it and uh, find something you like. I will quickly make uh, something mm, that we can use in this tutorial. So I want to create new material. Let's call it blood. And change uh, color to red like this. Then I will add this my material here and this is too big so I want to change uh, size to 0 0.2 that looks good uh, start speed uh, start lifetime to 4 and duration to 4 you can also change uh, shape here let's change it to sphere okay and i want to burst so uh, let's uh, use burst from 10 to 20 particles so our particle system looks uh, like this let's turn off uh, looping and press play that looks good and maybe one more thing let's do force over li lifetime and add force on x axis let's say 10 okay now it will look like this okay now we need a script to control our particle system. Let's create C sharp script uh, particle con particle control. Okay. Let's open up our script. And we want to mm, create our particle system when we press uh, some key so if we press something if input uh, that get uh, key down key code dot and we will use p like particles so every time i press p i want to create particle system and I will use instantiate. What instantiate does? It creates uh, some object, uh, creates copy. Okay. And what we want to create? We want to create public game object par particle prefab. So if we go if we go back to unity uh, we can use uh, first let's add a script to our player and make particle system prefab like this so um, you can see uh, we can add this prefab to be our Mm, particle prefab that we will uh, instantiate okay we can delete this so let's go back to unity we want to instantiate that game object particle uh, prefab and where we want to instantiate uh, him this script will be on our player it is on our player so we can just use a transform of our player that position and 
transform that rotation. Okay, now if I press play and press P, I will instantiate our particle system. Uh, and if you want to uh, add some cooldown, we can uh, also make that happen. So let's uh, create private float time variable and we will add a condition and time is less than time dot time. Uh, this time dot time is the time in seconds since the start of the game. So here we want time equals time dot uh, time dot time plus uh, delay uh, cooldown that we want. So we want cooldown of uh, two seconds. So okay, how this uh, works when we press uh, P and let's say we play game for 10 seconds. So we will set our time to 10 seconds and then we will add 2 seconds and then uh, this is 12 and 12 is not uh, less uh, than 10. So we need to wait 2 seconds so this will be uh, 12 or more and then we can uh, again uh, instantiate our object. So let's save this. Now we will test this out. Okay, I'm pressing P, but just every two seconds I can uh, create our particle system. So, but uh, if you play uh, uh, your game or level for some time, uh, mm, this uh, particle systems um, will uh, add up and you will have uh, thousands of them or hundreds and it is uh, gar garbage so we need to clean this up with this uh, little script uh, let's call it particle manager and this we will add on a particle system. So particle manager. Let's open up particle manager. Uh, what? I want no, I want particle manager. Okay. And I want to use a reference type variable. Uh, part particle system let's call it particle and I want uh, get component from particle system so particle equals get component particle system and now in update we want if our particle is playing then we don't want to do anything just return and when it's not playing we want to destroy it so destroy game object simple and easy now let's go back to unity press play Press P and see it destroys itself. So this is all for part one. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you next week.